hi everyone this is satya prakash welcome to my channel this is part 4 of google map api in this video i'll show you how to uh, perform animate maker in google map using bootstrap in sp.net mvc okay so animate the marker with the animation property in sp.net mvc this is the uh, motto of this video so guys before going through this part 4 please visit my part 3 that is what are the types of google maps and how to set up the google map api key for development purpose okay so you should go through th these three videos uh, you, you can get these videos in my playlist called google maps api so so guys there is few steps i will show you so before that what are the points you need to discuss that is what is animate maker in google map api and how to implement it in sp.net mvc okay so animate marker with the animation property in sp.net mvc so we should set up set up this animation uh, you know uh, of the location or animate maker in our code behind file so guys this is the uh, you know this is my sp.net mvc application which i have used across all these videos uh, that is satya google map bootstrap mvc so steps is uh, we need to go to our home controller.cs okay so in home controller.cs i have added this uh, controller action method that is animate okay and based on this controller action method i have used the animate.cshtml file okay so this is my cshtml file it is very important all these things we need to configure here okay so uh, only things we need to uh, configure in our map my map method and uh, apart from that whatever course we have it is common my all these videos which already have described in my last video that is part three okay so here what i have done is here i used one property which will make marker animated okay that is this this one animation so here you can see google maps animation dot bounce okay so there is uh, four types of uh, you know uh, google map animate marker types one is bounce second drop and third one is yellow uh, and fourth one is uh, no okay so guys what i'll do is i'll show i'll show you the output of of this so uh, so except that uh, all other properties uh, description are same which I have already mentioned in my previous videos okay so there is nothing di uh, much difference except that properties okay uh, for animate the marker so uh, we need to go to run our application here so guys here you can see the output I have defined this property uh, that's animate mar uh, animate marker type is bounds that's what in the application when it runs it comes to my uh, latitude and longitude which i have mentioned here right and this latitude longitude corresponds to our uh, place name is bhuvaneswar and this marker is bouncing right you can see here so it is the bouncing the, uh, we have defined the bounce property so it's bouncing okay and uh, if you uh, you go to my property and accept that i'll uh, you know uh, remove it make it as uh, drop so save these changes if you just refresh it you can see it is dropped right uh, again i'll show you see this marker type is dropped it is not bouncing now okay so in this way we can set up the ma ma animate marker type so instead i will if you set set here as uh, io okay okay hello okay and save these changes and we need to uh, refresh it so this is the property we have set to hello right and uh, again we need to uh, set it as the other one is no save these changes and go again refresh it so this is the marker type okay there's no bounce no drop it is no you know it is property set 
okay again we need to uh, change to our uh, bounce one okay so save these changes we need to refresh it so now my property is set to bounce so that market type is bouncing on the particular place latitude and longitude okay guys uh, so this is the output we can say it and also we have implement the bootstrap okay you can see my application so all this bootstrap local files is in my application so that i just map to so contents is contains the bootstrap that's many uh min.css and scripts file contains the bootstrap uh, in minified version of js and this is the jquery okay so that instead of using cdn i have used this uh, uh static content of my application so uh, it's content it also supports the bootstrap so if you uh, right click on the inspect and there is we need to check here the responsive so if you click on the device name based on device this output is shown like this so this is the for ipad mini and if you ipad air so this is the output okay so it can't it supports the responsive at the bootstrap okay let's go to my uh, presentation here so as i discussed there are four types of uh, uh, google map animator marker type uh, that is one bounce drop low lo and no okay so guys uh, in this way we can in implement the animate marker in google map api and uh, we need we have implemented this animate marker in sp dot and mbc using google map api key so guys that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day